Hey guys, so I know I haven't been on in a while. I've had um, a lot going on in my personal life. Um, I broke up with my boyfriend who I was with for like four years and it has not been easy. Um, so that's why I haven't made videos in weeks. But um, I decided to jump back in and just, just start doing it just because I need to kind of get back on track and kind of move on. So Laura A487 requested that I done a um an application review of this product here which is the Dream Creamy Foundation from Maybelline. So as you can see I have no makeup on at the minute. I put on some of my primer which is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets primer. Um, I really like this when my skin is acting up because it just really nicely covers um, like blemishes and stuff like that, kind of resurfaces them a little, so they're a little bit smoother looking. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and start. So the colour that I have this in is light porcelain, um, and you can see I've used a lot of this, I really like this product. The brush, I've tried a few different brushes, but this is the brush that I really like to use it with, which is the MAC 109. Can you see that? Um, so I just get the brush in it, get some product up onto the brush, and just dab it on. Um, and you can see how much coverage this gives. and then you just buff it out. I'll just do one side of my face first of all so you can see. I really, really like this product. Um, it gives a really gorgeous dewy finish to the skin. It's really, really nice. And you can see, especially there on my chin, um, where it kind of covers up the spots, you do need a concealer, a good concealer, um, on top of this, but um, it does give a really nice sort of medium coverage when you don't want to go to, um, if you don't want to go too thick with your makeup and you want a sort of a more natural kind of foundation, I find that this one is really nice and I've been using a lot. So you can see there around this eye looks a lot brighter and around my cheek looks much more even. Um, if you want it a uh, really heavy coverage um, you can just dab it rather than dabbing it and then buffing it in. However, I'm not going to go for that look today. And just make sure you bring it right up to the hairline and right over your brows because I hate that one and you can tell that someone has kind of gone around their brows so I like to go right on top of them so it gets right in. And then around my mouth, I always do downward strokes. And then don't forget to sort of bring it under the chin and stuff. So it may look um, really washy at the minute. This is because I'm so pale. But um, when you put on blush and bronzer and stuff, it'll kind of, in your contour, kind of helps to make it look a little bit more realistic. <laughs> so, oh yeah, and this is the concealer that I use, which is also from Maybelline, and it's the Pure Cover Mineral Concealer. Really love this stuff. And so I use the same brush. And I just 
as well as brightening the eye, it kind of helps to conceal any dark circles. And this eye is the moon. For my concealer, I use MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. Um, sometimes I use my finger, sometimes I use a brush, it depends on what mood I'm in. Today I'm just going to use this little concealer brush. I'm just going to apply some over any little red dots that I want to sort of cover up. So that is the foundation application. Um, and then to set it, I use my Rimmel for Beauty face powder. You don't have to put this on all over your face. Um, this just helps to kind of keep it there for the whole day. And I use a little puff that I'm going to need to change because I've had it for a while, or wash it or something. Um, because I find that this um helps. Your, help your pores look a lot um, smaller. Don't know what I said there, if it was English or not. Anyway, so I just really lightly tap a little bit of that all over. Just helps keep everything in place. Um, applying powder will get rid of the dewy finish, but um, you can always kind of reapply it by putting a bit of. Um, Mm, 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 mm. Can't remember the name. Highlighter. That's what it was. <laughs> you can put a little bit of highlighter on the tops of your cheeks or wherever. Um, you don't have to apply the powder everywhere. You can just apply it to where you get oily. Like I literally only applied it mostly sort of to my T zone and on my chin and just right there. But um, that's how I apply my Maybelline Dream Creamy Foundation. Um, and I hope to be back soon enough with some more videos. And I'll see you guys soon.